Hey guys, James Cathy here for Netbook News. I have an Acer Iconia A500 and I'd like to show you a new game. Uh, the game I'm going to show you is called Riptide GP. Uh, they are actually from the makers of Hydro Thunder Hurricane. And it is the first ever console quality racing game. And uh, as soon as you get here, uh, here's the main menu. Um, so there's three different ways, uh, three different types of racing. There's race, hot lap, and championship. Uh, over here you got your community, which goes to, you know, share on Facebook, uh, Riptide GP webpage, or more Vector Unit games. Uh, you got your help and options here, how to play. It's very helpful. Stunt type, stunt for boost, boosting, and basic controls. Basically, you do stunts to get boost, and that's how you win. Uh, your settings, easy controls, either you want gyro or or not. Uh, your tilting sensitivity, I'm actually going to turn that up a little bit, because, there we go. Uh, audio, audio and graphics. Uh, credits, it's obvious. Uh, so we'll go back over here. And then there's open faint. This is actually open faint enabled, which is great. You get to play online with all your friends or your foes. Hopefully more of them are friends. Uh, so let's just hop right into it here. Let's race. Uh, you get your choice of 250cc, 500cc, or 1000cc. Let's keep it in the middle and go to 500. Uh, I'm not very far, so I'll we'll probably just choose Launchpad. But as you can see, there are 16 different maps. Uh, racing through Park Hills, Opera Plaza, Twister. Uh, you know, uh, just multiple different maps. There's, there's a lot. A lot of different places to choose from. Uh... I only have three skis now, but there are a total of six that you can get if you're good enough to to win and unlock and unlock new jet skis. So uh, let's play with the sting right here. Okay, so this is the game. And the object of the game is to obviously get first place. Um, so you're steering, you're ramming into things. The sound sound quality of this game is very good. You get to hear you know splashes. Some music in the background, colliding with other players sounds very nice. Um, steering is, it, it's fairly hard, you know. It's not that easy to get used to, but once you do, you know, you can, you can adjust with your settings and whatnot. But it, it takes a lot of practice. It's easy to pick up and play, you know, just, just right off the bat. Start with probably like 250cc in, instead. Um, so now for, uh, in terms of tricks and boosting, oh, I'm sorry. Let's see if we can get away from the wall there. Um, in terms of tricks and boosting, we're going to come up to a, a jump right here, highlighted in yellow, and I'll just slide my fingers both down to do a trick, just like that, and I get boost. Boost is up here on the top right. As long as my position, I'm, I'm in last. That's great. Six out of six. Time, you got your laps. And so I can boost off this jump. Oh, and do another spin trick. Um, one thing I don't like is the wa the water. It's it's very it's very well done. You know, it's very animated water. But I wish that when you would splash into the ground, there would be water droplets that would splash on the screen. Unfortunately, we don't get that. Oh, and something great: when you fall, your body gets thrown around. Uh, this you can find this game for uh, six ninety nine. On the, the Tegra Gaming, Go Gaming Zone application, excuse me. It's a bit pricey, but it is a full length game. You know, you, you know, 16 different levels, uh, 6 different jet skis. And you can just be playing for hours and hours under different CCs and playing online on Open Faint. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fairly good game. Fairly good game. I like it. Uh, I suggest buying it or maybe waiting for a while till the price goes down. But other than that, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly well done racing game. I'm going to go try to win. This has been James Cathy for Netbook News. Thanks for watching.